Disney World, the Kennedy Space Center, Universal Studios, the Epcot Center. Orlando, Florida is a tourist town from city limit to city limit. More Americans head here for holidays than anywhere else in the country. And being the country's number one tourist destination, it follows that a good percentage of the people on the roads at any moment haven't a clue where they are or where they're going. And that makes this an ideal testing ground for a car navigation system that can guide you across 16,000 kilometres and through 75,000 intersections just as easily as you'd find your way around your own hometown. It can also help you find a room for the night or select a tourist attraction, book a table at a restaurant or even find your way to an old friend's house. If you still manage to get lost and can't quite remember how to use the system, there's a 24-hour help service available by phone. Now that's at the offices of the American Automobile Association and that's where we're heading. So I need to enter my destination. It's a service. There it is, AAA offices in Florida. At Heathrow, that's right, and I'll ask it to plan a destination via the fastest route. Onboard navigation systems have been taking the long, slow road to fruition. But with this system, electronic navigation has finally come of age. It's simple to program, and following the turn-by-turn -turn instructions is as easy as, well, getting lost in a strange city. Drive straight through the intersection onto SR 436 Severin Boulevard. Next turn. If that voice starts to nag you, turn it off and follow the map instead. As a first-time visitor to Orlando with no idea where AAA was in relation to anywhere and with very little nose for direction, I was relying totally on that synthesized voice and the video map to get me there. Okay, so the East-West Expressway. Traftec continually calculates the distance and time remaining to your destination. With a quick glance at the monitor from time to time, you can't go wrong. Bear right onto the ramp to east, west, to west. And make a right. Your car may be off the planned route. If so, press the OK new route button for a new route. You're kidding. Bear right, not turn right. Time for some help. To be fair, this mistake really wasn't Travtech's fault. It was the cameraman's. He was blocking the monitor, and because I was still getting used to this, I needed a quick look at the map just to be sure where I was going. When I couldn't remember what I'd been told to do after making a wrong turn, the help desk was on hand to solve the problem. Good afternoon, Travtech Help Desk. This is Loretta. Hello, Loretta. I'm trying to find my way from the airport to the AAA office. As it turned out, straying off course didn't present a problem. You're eastbound on Lake Underhill. The computer redetermined my position Push okay and west. planned a new course to get me going. Okay. Thanks, Loretta. Bye-bye. Travtech uses a combination of magnetic compasses and wheel sensors to pinpoint the car's position. The computer system matches that road information with navigable maps stored in its database. So as I turn the corner, the wheel sensors note that I've turned right, figure there must be a street there, and the microprocessors scan the database to find the name of that street. Hopefully they'll tell me I'm on the east-west expressway. I think. Ten years out, it's probably not, un, you know, unlikely to assume that you'll have this available in uh, a whole host of cars that are available on the road. I think by that time, the price will come down to where it's affordable for the average American. Bear 
right onto the ramp fly for east. Throughout the journey, my car is constantly receiving information on updated traffic conditions from this control room. Freeway cameras, radio reports, road sensors that detect traffic volumes, police communications. They all filter back to this room where they're added to the database. The car and the control room are constantly talking through radio signals. The car are advising its position and the control room keeping the vehicle informed of traffic problems. If there's a jam ahead, Traftec will think again and suggest a new direction I can take to avoid the congestion. Traffic Management Center, this is Joe. Hello Joe, it's Tracy. Hi Tracy. I've been tracking you since you left the airport. I saw you make that wrong turn on the way. Today, the Joe was keeping an eagle eye on me. But in the future, he'll see thousands of cars moving across the city and through TravTech be able to direct traffic smoothly across Robert town. Robinson. Traffic is congested. We still have a uh, ways ahead before on. onboard navigation traffic systems become standard offering. The TravTech system is presently undergoing a 12-month trial. Next turn, in one and two tenths miles. I found it simple, clear, and not at all distracting. Turn left onto Triple A Drive. And it got me exactly where I wanted to go. If it also proves capable of reducing congestion and keeping drivers cool under the collar, Route guidance complete. it'll be the one backseat driver you'll gladly welcome aboard. You are in the vicinity of your destination.